today we have the last one of the particular network analysis module this is the maximum flow problem over here you can see this represents a network with uh, you can say the nodes and the activities as well the weightages are given over accordingly now we have to proceed from this say one point say this is a source and we have to reach this destination say seven and we have to find the maximum flow okay in order to do, do that we have to again draw the network which i have already drawn in this uh, particular board in this below this particular network okay so let us let us uh, know the rules of drawing and calculating the maximum flow you have to uh, make a column of uh, path and flow okay in the latter part we will be reading writing uh, paths over here and the corresponding flow over here now from this particular network we have to find the maximum flow in order to do that we have to construct in such a way as this weightages should be uh, written in such a way that a slash should be provided in front of that and why is that because we are going to write a particular value over here which will represent flow for uh, the number uh, to this side of this particular slash will represent flow and this one will represent as capacity i'll uh, let it write for you say uh, this is ax and this is y okay so this will represent uh, flow okay and this will represent capacity okay so we are going to have this particular uh, system of network now we'll start from number one okay we are going to solve it by trial method and selecting one root at a time so let us select first root as one let us name this Two. This is given as two. This is five. This is four. This is six. Okay. So first root we are going to take as one, two, five, seven. Okay. So we have to select the minimum weight values from this particular, you uh, say, path. So minimum value is five, and we have to subtract five from the respective other um, weightages. Five minus five will give you zero. 10 minus 5 will give you 5 and 7 minus 5 will give you 2. So, for the first path, we have selected the value of 5. You can write it over here. Now, as you see, this is exhausted and you can say this path is blocked. This path is blocked. That is, we cannot use the that path again. Okay, that path is blocked. Now, let us take another path. Uh, let's take one three six seven okay. in doing so we can find four as the least one so four we have to subtract from the other weightages. so first one gives you zero then uh, it is three seven minus four and it is it is six over here now as you can see this is zero that means exhausted so we can block this one so next we can write it as four over here okay now let us select another path that is one two four five seven one two four five seven in doing so one two four five seven you can see easily two is the two three three five two is the least one so we have to subtract two that is here it will give you zero that means this path is blocked one two four five seven now 3 minus 2 will give you 1 3 minus 2 will give you 1 and 5 minus 2 will give you 3 okay 
so you can write as 2 over here okay now next path we have to follow let us take 1 3 1 3 4 5 7 okay as you can see this path is blocked this path is blocked this path is blocked you cannot take this roots so you have to select in such a way that you have to uh, you can reach the final seven number that is the destination so we are selecting here one three four five seven okay now selecting that we have got six four two one three these are the weightages of this particular path so list one is a zero okay so this one gives you zero next this one gives you one this one gives you three and this one will give you five and this one will give you mm, two now you can see this path is exhausted and because it is zero over here so it is blocked now i think no one no another path is left over here so the last one we have selected is value one okay so I think we have solved the maximal flow problem. Now we have to write the particular paths and the flows. Or you can easily calculate it from here only. You, you have get 5 plus 4, 9 plus 2, 11 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 12. So you can uh, already told that is you can all also um, told from particular solving this uh, network as total uh, flow is uh, you can say over here only 12 only or you can write it over here like this one you can write the names of the paths 1 2 5 7 the corresponding flow is 5 and the second one is 1 3 5 uh, sorry, 1 3 6 7 no? 1 3 6 1 3 6 7 this will give you flow of 4 next path is 1 2 4 5 7 this will give you flow of 2 the last path is 1 3 4 5 7 this will give you flow of 1 so total flow you can also tell from here only as 2 plus 1 3 plus 4 7 plus 5 is equal to so 12 is the value of this particular network maximal flow network so i think you have understand how to solve a maximal flow problem and we have completed module 5 uh, that is a module of network analysis so that's all